Y'all, today's video is all about spring themed DIYs. And I use this playlist challenge as an opportunity to motivate, me, motivate, motivate myself to refresh my space because I'm almost a little embarrassed to admit this, but the wreath that's over my fireplace, it has fall decor on it. Fall, y'all. Fall decor on it. So I thought, you know, it's high time that I change that out because Easter's coming and we have family over for Easter and I don't need fall decor up <laughs> on my mantle. So I did that and I did a couple other things. I'm going to show you those real quick. But on this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. This first DIY is going to be an easy one. Take one of these wood circles. It's beveled wood circle from Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. And you can use the flat one too, but I'm using the beveled one. I think it's going to look nicer. I'm using these candlestick holes from Hobby Lobby. Both pieces needed to be sanded because there was rough spots on each. And I knew when it comes to painting, it would just go on better if it was a smooth surface. I also have Supervisor Captain on duty today, as you can see. And I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color moss, and I'm going to paint the top. Well, that's what my initial plan was, but then I ended up painting the whole wood circle in that color moss. And it's a really pretty color. And then I'm going to paint the candlestick hole white. And the thing about Hobby Lobby stuff in the wood pile section, just make sure you're looking at the prices so you're not surprised at the register. Not everything is on sale when it has the for sale sign. It has to be $4.99 or more. These were fortunately for me, but just keep an eye out when you're looking at the prices. Sometimes it's a little tricky. And you, I used wood glue to glue them together. And this is how it turned out. Super cute. You could use this to hold a candle. You could use this to hold like another, like a, uh, another piece of decor to kind of elevate it a little bit. It turned out super cute and it's super easy. I wanted to share a little bit more about today's playlist. It's called Hello Spring. Hello, is it me you're looking for? And that's not part of it, but yeah. So it's an open challenge and it's hosted by my friends, the Rusty Willow, DIY from house to home. And the guest host is Shannon's Crafty DIYs. These ladies are completely awesome and they're super creative. The links to their channels are going to be in the description box below, along with the playlist. Check it out, get inspo, get motivated like I did and um, change your face up. This next DIY is also another easy DIY. I got these rabbit shapes from pretty sure I got them from Dollar Tree, but I got them last year and I am just painting them white. I was going to do some other stuff because you can see some other paint. There. I was going to do some like try to do some shading and stuff, but I ended up not doing that. I do take some Jim Holtz uh, distressing ink and kind of add some distressing around the edges and kind of give some dimension to the bunny. And I use my pinking shears to cut off the ends. I didn't show it but that's how it looks when you cut those off because I wanted the little paper bag that I was attaching them to to be a little bit smaller. And all I'm doing is just taking some hot glue and putting those little bunnies right down on there, pressing until it sticks, and that's it. Super easy, super fun. And all I have to do, I have this garland that's over my stove, and the garland stays up, and I just change out the three pieces that you see there. So last time it was heart envelopes, I think for Valentine's day. And this, this month it's going to be the Easter bunnies for Easter and super cute, super easy, budget friendly. Y'all should try this at home. I found this burlap banner at Crafter Square in Dollar Tree. It has six pieces to it and the word spring has six letters to it. So I thought that's perfect. I'm going to use that. And I took some vinyl, iron on vinyl. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby this time. And I cut out the letters to spring, the word spring, and I'm just going to iron them on with my Cricut heat press. And the, it works well, but I'm going to show you what happens to the banner at the end. I'll show you the reveal at the end. Have you heard about crafty DIYs on a budget? Well, that is my Facebook crafting group and it's free to join. I host it with my friend or run it with my friend, Sarah from Jujube DIY. Like I said, free to join. If you join, post something that you're working on. 
because we want to support and encourage each other and what better way to do it by finding out what we're working on so link is going to be below so this is my living room and <laughs> i have a vintage window that we salvaged from a house and I'm taking it down carefully. It is heavy and I probably should have used help because you see me, you see me on a struggle bus here trying not to drop it. But I have a grapevine wreath on it and I got the grapevine wreath from Hobby Lobby and it's just in this section here. It's the larger wreath. I don't really know the diameter. Maybe you will see it in when I look at the tag in a second, but those big wreaths are only $9.99. So that's actually, I mean, I feel like that's a pretty good deal because I don't switch out my wreaths each time. I just switch out the decor that's on them. So not too shabby. I should probably measure it though. <laughs> so what I do is I just take off all the floral and the decor, whatever I put on. And yes, it's from fall. Yes, I know that fall was a while ago. <laughs> so I found this greenery on sale for 50% off at Hobby Lobby. And it was originally $19.99, so I got it for $9.99 or something like that. And what I did was I take off the ribbon. I'm changing it out for the a more spring-colored ribbon. And once I get that all done, and I just attach it with masking tape. Um, I'm sure there's maybe a better way to do it, but I'm just showing you the way that I do it in case you want to do this at home. And again, those were $19.99, 50% off. And... I just kind of detach or deconstruct that grapevine, uh, grapevine, that greenery strand, and I start tucking it in all around the grapevine. I don't, I never hot glue anything to my grapevine wreath because, like I said, I switch it out for each season, and I don't want to be like storing 10 or 12 wreaths or however many wreaths I, I do in a year. I don't want to be storing that many wreaths, so I just make this one an interchangeable one. One thing to note with the particular green wreath that I bought and using it with the grapevine wreath, it didn't stick or stay in bedded in the wreath as well as some of the other green wreath that I've used in the past. Oh, look there, peep that, that DIY I did a while ago. It, it, those were not, well, okay. I was like, that's not a very good angle, Lisa, but they just weren't staying in stuck. So I couldn't use this on my front door because it, it the wind outside would just, knock those out so but this is how it looks that's my spring wreath um spring banner at the bottom and my updated wreath on the top i think it looks really good together and i really like it so um yeah <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments below and that's my vintage milk glass collection or part of it that i just styled on each side just to kind of you know add a little bit of extra interest to my mantle Thank y'all. So, I don't know why I'm singing that part. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. It's the end of the video. Don't, don't wait. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> don't go nowhere. I just want to thank y'all so much for being here. And I wanted you to hear me say that. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram, something like that, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.